this uh, sports activities here in school, sir, eh? yes. because the place is already a center yes. for activity.
and go out there to Europe. Oh, yes. That's yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. That's you have why... even an international school. Yes. <laughs> well, I have a school and uh, equal I also have factories for water, even the water they are drinking. It's equal in my factory. Mm -hmm. So I'm diversified in quite a number of businesses. Mm -hmm. But now our focus with the Honorable is the Council. We are mobilizing to come to Nairobi and see how we can invest. Please. Yes. No, you will, you, you will have a place where to invest. Yes. There's a room. There's a room. There's a room. So this third deal is not yet complete? No, no, no. Okay, this is the second phase <coughs> of the stadium. Once completed, it will be, uh, it will be, it will be housing 35,000 people sitter. Right now it's 20,000. Actually, from the outside, you can see there are some bars penetrating. Oh. So that is a sign that is still going up. Okay. Yeah. We're expanding it from the outside, on the seating. On the seating. The facilities are already done, like the change rooms and what, but now the stadium seating capacity is what will be expanded, expanded. from 20,000 to 35,000. Um, what is not... You are blowing back business card. Hmm? Yes. Some agro bank. So you have an agro bank? Yes. Now on the, bank. Oh, yes. in the process of setting up the integrated agro processing plant oh. to, to, to have quality control, you have to you have to count, you have to facilitate them in terms of machinery pesticides because then you have to control the product right from the soil to the market so you have to make a financial harm which can support the farmers because majority don't have the financial capacity to produce the right product that um, is, what is your total workforce now uh, mm. total reasonable i have to direct and direct workers but direct employees is 10,000, but when I put in direct, I can even go up to around 22,000. The casual ones that come and leave. Mm -hmm. But direct, I have to total of 10,000. Mm -hmm. Yes. Here in Uganda? Yes, here. Okay. In Uganda. Ah, you have a foundation? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a foundation that gives back to society. Okay. Because you can't simply take that. Okay. I'm grow up come to the best to do in reality. Mm -hmm. And I wrote an adult masterpiece. I wrote two books to try and uh, towards mindset, mindset change. Yes. Africa and Uganda. Come first and put and synchronization of our mind. Mind. Yes. So these are the two books and I take this opportunity to hand them over to myself. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very, very much. As the proprietor of the project, to humbly thank you for taking time to visit this facility. We are so humbled and really honored to have such a personal magnitude come here to visit the facility. 
and we really feel home-hearted that you've appreciated the facility. And as you said, I'll make it my own personal responsibility that one of the opening friendly matches in this stadium will be Uganda versus Namibia. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and if given the chance, maybe we shall come and even implement the same in Namibia. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I would like to see something like this in Namibia. I would really, really want to see something like this in Namibia. It would be a pleasure. Done by Africans. Yes, I'm Yes. I'm Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mama. Okay. Miss Ham for the wonderful job. Thank you. I just cannot understand uh, how you started looking at your face and your age, <laughs> which I have learned, and you have gone thus far. And then the design of having shops around yeah. so that everybody can have access. And the number of the people you have employed, and I could see happiness when I'm looking in the faces of the people. So please. Positive energy, pass it to other young Africans. You. Then we will realize Agenda 2063. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Our Honorable Consul, uh, you are having a good team. And I can see you can move from economy to sports. sports. So, because the two has to work together. There's also what we call sports tourism oh, yes. and i think this stadium qualify thank to invite you. sports tourism thank so you. thank you very much oh we are really proud to be here in uganda and to see how the government has opened up and allow our young people our business people to do what is right for the continent and that is because the government has created a conducive environment. We really appreciate. And thank you for being there. Since I arrived, I really appreciate. Let us continue to strengthen the cooperation between our two countries and facilitate for our citizens to engage into people-people conduct. So thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Honorable, mm. allow me when is uh